All right, that adjustment that I made on my lever, I definitely like it better. I feel like I have, you know, like my the tips of my uh, fingers that are uh, covering the brake. Um, you know, I feel like when I'm rolling off, I'm, you know, doing this and, and my fingers aren't quite so straight. So I'm kind of like this as I'm rolling on and rolling off, um, which I am liking better. So again, limited sight distance, lots of um, intersections. So really, man, I just want to encourage everybody to manage their speed. Pay attention to the suggested speed limits. Like right now, I'm kind of rolling off. Okay, my sight distance opened up. I can roll back on. I was just on a tour not too long ago, and it was a street tour. A few riders on the tour. Um, roads like this at no time, well, very rare, I should say. Um, well, was I seeing any kind of braking being done for, for the corners? Now, what when you're practicing and you're riding and you're, you're constantly doing the trail braking, um, it, there's a lot of diff, uh, advantages to it. Um, and one of them is that, number one, you get really good at using your brakes. Like if you just use your brakes to uh, slow down for an intersection or come to a stop at a stoplight or what have you, you really are not getting the practice that you need on your brakes. Um, but by practicing the trail braking, you just get really good at feeling confident, using your brakes, using them hard if you need to, meaning just squeezing more. I'm not saying hard as in stab and grab. I'm saying squeeze more, 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 more. Like right now, I'm squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. I'm starting to. I'm sorry, roll on as I start releasing the brakes. Now there's a intersection. Um, now on that point, I did not see that intersection until kind of the last minute. And I feel like Riding in the lane, choosing a very good lane position, always place yourself so you could see and be seen. If for whatever reason you miss a blind intersection, if you are always riding in a lane position to present yourself, you may not see an intersection and somebody sitting in it, but they see you because you have been practicing putting yourself in a good lane position to the point where you don't even think about it. You just, you're there. Um, and I feel like that was the case back there. I did not see the car sitting at the intersection, um, but my lane position was such that they saw me. The other thing that helped them see me is that I've got the Cyclops um, ancillary lights. They're big, they're yellow. I've got my high beams on all the time during the day and therefore I'm seen better. Now, a lot of riders don't use their high beams. They don't have the extra uh, ancillary lights and they're not as seen as well. Now, holy crap, that back there that blind swoop, uh, that had me, uh, my stomach a little, kind of like a roller coaster. Right at the tip, the apex of the blind rolling hill, it kind of scooped to the right. Now, had I not been trail breaking for that, so when that happened, all I did was tighten up on the brake just a skosh which then tightened up my corner 
Now, had I not been trail breaking, uh, I may very well have gone over the line. Uh, I'm guessing, but anyway, again, because I'm just uh, constantly trail breaking, I feel like I can tighten up my line when I need to, if I got into a corner too hot or what have you. Uh, it's a way to uh, stay in your lane, right? <laughs>